I will start by showing Datadog real-time detection engine, which continuously scan live log stream, with or without indexing, and generates actionable security signals the moment threats are detected. We'll begin by looking at Datadog out-of-the-box detection rule library. Here, in the detection rule page, you can see our extensive library of pre-built rules grouped by source. We will filter to show only default rules, using the facets on the left. This diverse library spanning a broad range of sources covering a wide spectrum of use cases across the security landscape. Each rule is maintained by Datadog's security research team. We are constantly adding new rules and updating existing ones. Let's look at an example of that. Using the compare versions tools, we can see the differences between an earlier and the most recent versions. This gives users transparency and confidence that the rule logic evolves with emerging threats. Now, let's create a custom detection rule. Let's expand the detection method and walk through the available options. Threshold triggers when a set threshold is exceeded. Anomaly uses AI and historical data to detect deviations from baseline. New value triggers when a new, previously unseen attribute appears for the first time. Impossible travel detects logins from geographically distant location in an unrealistic time window. And third party enable ingesting alert from external tools. Let's create a rule to detect a brute force attempt on Okta. We'll keep threshold as our detection method, and in the search query section, we will use natural language to build our detection. I'll type in a prompt, and we'll convert it into a query. You can interactively explore preview logs by clicking into them, and this side panel shows us the raw log, and we can use it to refine our query. Let's filter only where event category is authentication and event outcome is success. Event outcome is a standard attribute across all data sources, which makes correlation and reusable queries much easier. Now, we will group by user and set the evaluation window of one hour and name the query success. We'll create another query for failed logins, and now we can set triggering condition. Let's set failure above five to informational and failure above five followed by successful attempt to medium. This showcases the ability to correlate condition in a single rule. At ingestion, Datadog enriches all logs with our native and custom threat intelligence providers and embed those results into a log event. We can use that in our detection query. Let's add suspicious threat intelligence result to the query and bump the severity to high. Next, I'm going to show you how you can use custom reference table to refine the detection even further. Reference table can be used to upload custom data such as your own list of IOCs and threat intelligence or a list of risky users you would like your SIM to monitor. Here, I will join the table containing risky Okta user to alert only on risky known users. In addition, there is the ability to automatically reduce severity for non-production environment. Let's name and save this rule. Next, I'll show you how to correlate this alert with another detection signal, say from an EDR. We'll go to create a new rule, we will select signal correlation as the detection method, we will choose EDR signal from CrowdStrike correlated on network IP, and then we will add our newly created boot for signal and also correlated by the same attribute. We will set the condition and set the severity to critical. This means that when we see a brute force attempt from an IP that also triggers a CrowdStrike EDR alert, Datadog will automatically raise the severity, giving your SOC high confidence, high context detection. That's how Datadog enables real-time, high fidelity detection and powerful security operations. Out of the box and fully customizable. Let's continue to view our batch analytics capabilities. While real-time detection helps catch threats as soon as they happen, sometimes you need to perform deeper investigation. To handle this, Datadog offers a second separate detection engine designed for batch analysis called historical jobs. Historical jobs are executable searches over your historical logs. Instead of producing signals immediately, they execute ad hoc to return signal-like results, which are based on defined condition to generate signals after the fact. This makes it a perfect tool for deeper and more complex investigation, retrospective hunting, and backtesting detection logic against past data to assess its effectiveness. Let's walk through how it works. We will start by creating a new rule, and in the detection method, we will select historical jobs. You will notice two key capabilities that are unique to this mode, flexible time range selection and calculated fields. Let's take a closer look at both. Here, we can choose any time window, whether it's two days, the last three months, or even further back, depending on your log retention. This enables long-term pattern detection or forensic review. With calculated field, you can manipulate and analyze log data on the fly using custom expressions. You can manipulate text, like extracting substrings or concatenating fields, perform arithmetic, like calculation session duration from logging and logout timestamps, and even apply conditional logic, such as tagging result based on threshold 
or creating flags with if-else expressions. That's how Datadog historical job engine enable rich retrospective threat analysis, helping your security team find what others might miss. Let's see it in action. Let's go back to the historical job interface, clone an existing rule, and run the job. You will see the job running in the background, starting to collect results. As results flowing in, we can click into the rule and explore the results. 